and Morty Season 5, Episode 5 is now available to be watched. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I felt about this episode. Did I love it? Did I hate it? Am I mixed on it? I'm going to give you guys my full opinion about this episode, but I also want to know what your opinion is. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you mixed on it? Do you not like it at all? Let me know in the comments below. Smash it down there and we can have a discussion because it's a fun time to do that. Smash that like button, hit subscribe as well. And without further ado, we're going to jump into this review of this episode of Rick and Morty. Okay, so episode 5. Look, I thought episode 4 was a very weird episode. I thought it was not their best episode. While there were still some great moments in there as well. And some funny moments. And I did enjoy it more than I didn't like it. But I don't think it's one of the best they've done. I actually would rank it very low in all of the Rick and Morty episodes. This episode, coming into it, I didn't know what to expect. Because this season's a bit of a... I don't know, this season's a bit of... Bit of taking a weird turn, if you know what I mean. If you guys follow Rick and Morty, you, you probably feel the same, I reckon. This episode was weird as well, and this episode, to me, it wasn't definitely one of my favourites again. I, I have to say, this episode, it was pretty dull. It wasn't as funny as previous episodes, and I don't know why. Nothing just landed. I felt like this episode was lacking what Rick and Morty really have and have done really, really well. And that's those little subtle jokes. While there is some funny moments in this episode that I really got a kick out of that I'm going to get to, but overall I thought just those little snipey comments and parodies that they do just were missing in this episode and it really tore it down for me. I think the whole stuff with Rick Jerry and Beth and Hell and that, that was all weird and wacky and just, that was the dullest part about this episode. I wasn't too interested about what was going on in there and it just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't have that magic spark that it does and I was just kind of sitting there through that whole entire time like, yeah, this is just, I, are they just going for weird designs? Because... The designs of all the characters from Hell and that were just really weird and just... I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It just, it just felt off to me. And that whole sequence with them in Hell, it wasn't funny and it just... It was dull. It was dull. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be completely honest. It was dull and boring, unfunny, and that was by easily far the worst part of this episode was that whole moment was them doing their whole hell stuff and that. It was just, yeah, it was just didn't work for me at all. When we go to Summer and Morty's adventure with the car, that I actually enjoyed a lot more than that part of the episode with the hell. This is where the good moments come in. You've got a throwback to the pod racing and Star Wars in here, which I absolutely loved as well. You've got the Transformers in here as well, which I loved as well. And got a really, really good kick out of it. And I thought that was the most fun. We got to actually see the car, Rick's car, actually have a character. Which I never thought we would actually see the car actually have a character. And we get some character arc of the car as well in this episode. And I thought it was fun seeing this car blackmail Morty and Summer and then go on this rampage. And I almost forgot as well, the other one was Galactus. Galactus was in this as well, and I thought that was hilarious. It was just brilliant. I really enjoyed all those aspects of that, and I thought this was the strongest part of it. This is where I laughed the most, and I was more interested in the story that was being told. There's just some funny moments from the robot seeing, driving into the car, and then transforming, and then, you know, she acts all tough, and then it turns on the robot, and she tries to transform into a human to get with the robot, and then basically that doesn't turn out, so she murders all the robots, they go on a big chase as well. Then, uh, what's his name, Morty, Summer, and the dude they're with, who's the new guy from school that they're trying to impress, they get dropped, they like jump out of the car and they get taken into the thing and then the car saves them and says, yeah, blowing up was always part of the plan. I thought that was the best moments of this whole episode, was that whole storyline, and it seems... I'm going to be honest, I'm 
going to be completely honest here, it seems like the Rick storylines in these episodes aren't the strongest. It's the Morty adventures that are the strongest part of each episode. Episode 1, Morty with the um, time traveling, going in and out with the uh, dog people. That, to me, was the most entertaining part of those of that episode. And I really enjoyed that. Episode 2 was sort of a meh episode. I don't know, that was weird, that episode. That, that was hard to follow. Episode 3 with the uh, Captain Planet storyline and Rick, and um, what's it called? Um, not Rick. And Morty was the best part of that episode as well. And now, again, we're, we're moving in. And, again, this side of Morty and his story is the best part of the episode again. So I don't know what they're doing writing-wise with Rick's storyline. I feel like they've pulled Rick and Morty apart and giving them their own adventures now. When the whole core of the show was about their relationship, about Morty and Rick's relationship going on the adventures together... And I feel like so far in this season, we're missing that relationship. We're missing that element that made Rick and Morty really good. And I hope we get more of their adventures together and not by themselves. Because I feel like the episodes are suffering and the writing isn't quite as good as it has been. And we are losing a lot of the aspects of the episode. So my biggest concern right now is we're not going to see them go back down their adventure route together. Which is what I'm hoping, so fingers crossed... But I'm, I've got to say, this episode to me, I like half of it, but I don't like the other half at all. Uh, I, th I have to rank this one of the lowest episodes of of all of Rick and Morty. And so far, I I must say, season five so far has actually been, is probably sitting at the bottom of my season ranking list at the moment. It, it's, pro it's not the best season at all by any stretch of imagination. So I hope... Now that we're up to episode 5, we're going to get 5 strong episodes. Because I think there's only 10 episodes or something like that a season. So hopefully the next 5 episodes, they really pick it back up. And we just get some good, solid Rick and Morty stories, adventures, funny dialogue. And the writing really picks up. Because the writing is lacking in this so much. And it pains me because the first 4 seasons are so genius. The... The jokes are written so clever, but yet now, there's just none of that at the moment, and I'm just a bit concerned, so let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Did you have the same feeling as me moving forward in this season? Do you feel like it's losing something, it's missing that core element? Let me know in the comments below what your feelings are. Smash that like button, hit subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace out.